My mom tells a, uh, an interesting story of, of uh, one afternoon she was taking a nap and I was about two and a half or three and she put me behind her on a, on a sofa and I had a little pair of scissors and a, she gave me a piece of newspaper and when she was finished with her nap I would taken that uh, newspaper and cut it into a rhinoceros and one of the O's and one of the story headlines I'd made into the eye of the rhinoceros and cut the rest of it out. So I had this little paper doll uh, rhinoceros, and that was when I was three. Well, I didn't move to Arkansas until I was uh, uh, five, and then moved directly out of uh, you know, uh, downtown Chicago. Uh, this was in, in the uh, late 1950s. And uh, moved to a farm in northern Arkansas, and this is the first time I'd actually seen nature up close, and I went wild. And I've never been back since. That, that was the, the, the beginning of the end. <laughs> to, to see a bird in the field and know at the time that you're looking at it, that it's new to science, that no one has ever seen it before, and that you see it, recognize it as something new, I mean, there's nothing that beats that.